hi my youtube family this is melody from home garden and fashion welcome to home garden and fashion don't forget to watch my mother's day video is coming up really soon it's gonna be mother's day purse last card also i have created a beautiful mother's day gift which is mother's day pillow don't forget to watch that and i would like to thank you so much to all my subscribers and my goal is to make 100 subscribers this month so i'm pretty close to it thank you so much please subscribe and like and that will help me make plenty more more video tutorials and now today we're gonna make uh, a blouse decoration this is a red blouse and i will do a red sari with the red sequence very soon i'm in the process of getting the siphon red fabric where i will put in the siphon red fabric i will make a pretty red lace uh, with golden sequins and beads um, or a golden lace i'm still in the process of buying the lace and the siphon fabric and i will be adding this sequence to the red siphon sari so I am planning to use this blouse for my red sari and I want to put some sequins on it. This red blouse, as you see, it has a pretty light design. It's not anything very um, uh, bright, it's just light design. And this, um, there's a little bit border on the hand, but when I make my red sari, I will be using a lace and I will put that lace in the hand so it will be matching to that. So I will show you today how you can spice up your simple looking blouse with some sequins. So I will be using this dimensional fabric glitter paint this is paint slash glue so it does the both job you can draw a design with it or you can glue anything with it and it'll be really shiny so depends on if you want to give a trim outside you put a little bit more and if you don't want you put tiny little not too much and i will be using this to push down my sequence so I get my supplies, so I'm just using this sequence, you could use little sequence but right now I ran out of the little ones so I will be using um, the big sequence. Now there are two designs here, now if you are wearing a green sari you could put a green sequence here but I will be using this for a red sari so I will use just a golden sequence. So what you need to do if you, since I have already the designs already there so I know where to put the sequence. But if you don't, you can just use a chalk to mark where you want to put your sequence. And first you have to put uh, the front, let it dry two hours, then you go in the back. You have to let this one dry two hours. Now you see here there is no design so I'm just going to put about two two dots this is dry quickly so you have to work with it fast but still it's better than the glue gun because glue gun even dries faster so here is empty I will put one letter now once you put your dot then you get little bit of the glue and you pick up the sequence and you can choose to put it upside down downside up it's up to you I'm just gonna put it upside down and if you put very little this glue then it won't be showing outside if you put too much it will be like a trim so I don't want it to show so I put little bit glue so that way I can only see the sequence now if you by mistakenly get it in your finger or somewhere, you have to wipe in a paper towel. Otherwise, any fabric you put it, this is permanent. You cannot put it in any fabric. It's, this uh, 
glue glitter glue is very permanent it never goes away you could have your clothes teared off but the glue will still be there now you get this and just if you don't want any trim in the side just gently push and let it get stuck and do not put too much if you put too much then you will have a, a trim on the edge just a little bit and push it gently same for this one put enough so it will be working like a glue and getting stuck but not too much so I took some more it's really started to look beautiful already now you see you see how pretty it's looking and the siphon sari will look even prettier than this because you know how red siphon look really nice red georgette or red siphon i will do on it and i will do a video on that i hope you got to see my jordosi sari the black one and i have done since then i have done a purple one and a coffee color i will be posting them soon the coffee color i ran out a little bit of sequence so i am in the process of getting more sequence the purple one i will be posting soon so you see you push little bit don't push too much and don't put too much of the paint because you just want to see the sequence uh, and you don't want to see a trim for not for this one but the sari i will have a beautiful trim with the uh, glitter paint so as you see with little bit of creativity your uh, sari and blouse can look really stunning can stand out and you can just spice them up instead of being just plain or boring i like to spice them up i don't like the plain or boring so when you get extra like this you can wipe up in your hand or a paper towel but do not put it in any fabric because it will be permanent like this so as you see it's coming up really nice and now you can wear this one with a simple red sari you can wear this one with a siphon sari with the decoration and it will be really stunning and i will be making many 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 more blouse decoration videos in fact i will be making a blouse i got my machine i had a machine before and that just died and then i bought a new machine now so i can start making salwar kurta lenga choli skirt blouse mm. Uh, petticoat so don't forget to subscribe then as soon as i make it you get it in your mailbox uh, and then you can watch these videos i am going to make many 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 videos and i am doing a lot of gardening videos as well um, so if you like gardening i have lots of gardening video every summer i start a little garden and i am doing the gardening videos so there now this one i'm using sequence you can put beads as well and you can even stitch it but you know this is really the best because this one by one stitching is just next to impossible and then you see this one actually gets stuck permanent why stitch when you can have this one and it's permanent so we're done with one side any any place you see too much empty you can add a few this one had some design and i decided to put this so any place I see empty, I'm going to put a little, little. And 
when it dries it actually looks very very beautiful with this uh, glitter paint and if you do this one in a black blouse it will really look gorgeous the red one is looking gorgeous too and you can wear this one in chiffon sari in silk sari in, in cotton sari this is a cotton blouse this actually came with a tanat sari you know the tanat uh, is very famous in Calcutta. So this came with a tart sari. This was a blouse piece and I made it and it's really beautiful. Now I did one side as you see. This looks really pretty. Really pretty. And I'm gonna quickly gonna do the other side, but we're not gonna turn it upside down because we have to let it dry for two hours. So we're just gonna do other side so here I have two so I'll just put two you just you, right now I have this previously done design I'm doing on top of it that helps but if you don't have it all you can do is just eyeball it and put it because when it's in your body who's gonna measure it how farther they are how closer they are the dots so all it needs to do is look pretty you see here i'm just eyeballing it and adding like this now after it dries then i have few thread come up here and there i was looking for a scissor and I think I put it away somewhere so I'm just gonna wait till it dries any work needs to be done you have to wait till the paint dry you don't want to mess with the paint so you see I added a few in this side now that's all I'm going to add in this side now I'm gonna put the sequence and I will wait two hours till it dry and you can do the other side yourself I just wanted to show you how you can do it it's very easy and it's a fun project and you have yourself fancy looking blouse even if your sari is simple if your blouse is decorated really looks beautiful I got myself some mirrors so I'm going to do a video on how to put mirror on a blouse. Last one I did that was large confetti and this one gonna be a real mirror and I got a little frame. I had a huge frame well I had a little one too and that broke so now I have two big ones and I'm going to buy a tiny little frame to put the mirror in order to put a mirror in a blouse you need tiny little frame because each oh I forgot to mention I have created the most beautiful uh, salwar kurta with mirrors and I will be posting that soon um, that's a really gorgeous design don't forget to watch that that's the whole salwar kurta has many many mirrors and then decoration on it I'm gonna be doing that video right after I finish doing Mother's Day parts and card and then once my machine is all settled then I will be doing making salwar kurta We are almost there. Couple of more and I will let it dry. So, please make sure if you don't want uh, 
uh, paint to sew outside you don't press on it too much and you don't put too much paint just a little paint and if you want to sew the paint outside like a pretty trim on the outside then you put too much paint and you press it down so you see I am done with this and this looks lovely so now let it dry for two hours and you can do the other side this is the last one okay thank you so much for joining me this is melody from home garden and fashion don't forget to like and subscribe i will see you with my next video thank you bye bye have a great day